Hey guys, it's Ariel. Welcome back to my channel. So today I have another Dollar Tree haul for you guys. I also did a Dollar Tree makeup challenge on my channel. So if you guys missed either of those videos, I'll link them below. Um, but I am just going to have a pretty good size haul today, um, which by the way, I'm all hocus pocus because I did a 100 days to Halloween TikTok today. Um, these are not posting on the same day, but if you guys aren't following me on Instagram and TikTok, please do. Um, I love hocus pocus. If you guys are new to my channel, just, <laughs> just wait to Halloween season, which is now because it's late July. Oh my God, these lashes are humongous. These are like the biggest lashes I think I've ever worn. Oh, <gasps> okay. We're gonna pretend that that's fully attached. No particular order, I'm just gonna jump in. So I picked up these two huge rolls of, they're like teacher paper. It says banner art paper, but I picked them up for a backdrop for a photo I'm gonna be taking of my daughter. Um, and they are, Daylin, okay. if you hear talking, Cal is in here with me. Um, they are 28 inches by five feet. So I did pick up two of them mostly for the width is what I needed to expand. And I'm hoping that they line up pretty good. They are just paper, but I still thought that was a pretty good deal for a dollar. And if you are a teacher and you have bulletin boards you're looking to cover, that's a pretty good deal. They did have other kinds, but I don't remember what. I think for sure there was a red brick. So like if you're doing a Harry Potter classroom, be good for that. Um, okay, next I picked up this little wooden sign. It is actually super cute as is. It's, it's, oh my, I'm sorry, that reflection. Um, it's like that classic font, the, I think it's called like Magnolia Sky. It's like one of the most popular fonts, especially for like chuggy people like me. Okay, it says sweet dreams across it in a really pretty pink. And then it's got these 3D foam roses. I actually mostly bought this cause I need the wood frame for a DIY that's coming up at the end of August. Um, if this goes up, this should go up before that. So I will, um, if you guys want to see it, it's going to be for the Forgotten Favorites. That's really the only hint that I'm going to give. But um, we have another Forgotten Favorites coming up at the end of August. And I'm using the frame of this for that. <laughs> it's really nice, though. It's a nice wooden frame. It's actually wood. It's not like particle board or anything. Got that reflection. I'm sorry, guys. But they do have, I think they had one other version of this, but it had the foam flowers as well on that one. I can't remember what it said. Next is their 18 inch wreath foam. If you guys see these, I really, and you like to make stuff, I would highly suggest picking one up because this at Michael's or Joann's or Hobby Lobby is like $15. It's insane that you can get one for a buck and then you go to a craft store and they're like 10 times the price. So if you see the big 18 inch one, totally worth it. I used to always pick up the small ones too, but I do love having the big ones. I think I'm going to make a new fall wreath. I don't think I have a fall wreath. Like I have to go through my decorations to make sure, but I'm going to be making one for sure. I have two doors. I have a front door and a back door, so it works out. Um, but the big wire one is super useful. You can spray paint it. I've used these before in other crafts. I've also like hung them like this and then done like a mobile of stuff hanging from it. Um, so anyway, really great find to pick up if you see the big one. Next is some wrapping paper. I picked up two purple wrapping paper rolls. I only like the plain paper ones, not the metallic ones. I've learned the hard way. The super shiny ones, they are so hard to use like as wrapping paper and I suck at wrapping gifts. I'm really bad at it. So I need something with a little more help toward me. Um, these still aren't like Hallmark wrapping paper that great, but they're good. And I have a Disney villain swap coming up. So I needed some purple. By the way, I'm sorry for like my nasty ratchet nails there. It's gel and it's like slowly cracking off. So that's where we're at. Next are these things. These are officially called cabinet shelf, cabinet shelf. That's it. I picked up four. Um, but if you can see there, these retail for about like $20. I mean, granted, they're probably nicer, right? The $20 ones, like, you don't worry about them being, like, crooked or lopsided or, like, missing the little rubber footy on one of the legs. But I use these for my mug cabinets because I like to, especially my holiday mugs, I like to, like, put the Halloween ones and then the Christmas ones or things that I don't use as often up higher. And this is a good way to divide the shelf. Also really good for Tupperware storage because you can put stuff underneath and then stuff on top, like the containers and then the lids or whatever. But they're a dollar. And when you try to buy these anywhere else, they're so much more expensive. So again, highly suggest picking some up because these go like that. They go like hotcakes, guys. Like I, I saw like, uh, like 200 when I went and I was like, they must be freshly put out because there's never that many. Okay, um, next I'm gonna be diving into the bag. Sorry for the crinkling in advance. 
Uh, okay, so next I picked up some more of the paint palettes. My daughter has been using these a lot too, and um, sometimes I can't get to washing them in time, so ugh, I had to pick up a couple more. These are so great. You get six in a pack, and they also have like six little paint compartments. I also use these for Mod Podge. Um, anything really like paint quality. It's These are so great, um, and I do like to wash them and reuse them so I'm not just burning through paper plates and stuff like that. Going back to kind of like gift wrap, I also picked up these really pretty holographic bows. I love the gift wrap section at Dollar Tree. Everything is like a dollar, so it's totally worth it. But they're so pretty. They are blue with like, or they're purple with a blue reflect and you get two. And then I also picked up just some blue gift wrap ribbon. Why do I keep saying blue? Purple, purple gift wrap ribbon. I've gotten really good at like using the scissors and making the little curly cues. So <laughs> why am I so proud of that? Does anybody else, when you curl the ribbon, do you just sit there repeating to yourself, six inches, six inch ribbon curls from Elf? Okay, just me, it's fine. Um, I also picked up some decorative shred. That's what this is called, okay? I've, I say foozles. Apparently it's foozles with a T, or is it the other way? I don't know. It's either foozles or thuzzles. I don't know. But it's called decorative shred according to... Uh, whatever it's called, Dollar Tree. Um, I know Erica calls them crinkle, crinkle fries. <laughs> but I picked up the red ones. Honestly, I don't know if I'm gonna put these in my villains box or if they're gonna be early prep for Christmas boxes, who knows. Um, but red's always a good one to have. I think I also picked up, oh, I did. I also picked up the yellow one because I never have seen yellow before, so I grabbed it because I do box swaps and it's nice to have this stuff on hand. And again, it was a dollar. I just feel like every time I go to purposefully get it, like I'm like, oh, I need some. They never have any or they only have it in like a color that is just not what I want. Like it's like white and I don't want white ones. Oh my gosh. I don't even remember getting these. I like blacked out in Dollar Tree. Also picked up green. I don't know if I got this for the villain swap, like purple and green, because that's like most villains color scheme, or if I got it for Christmas. I also got purple. <laughs> so I bought every color. It's fine. Okay, moving on to something random, but these are amazing. I picked up two of them. Um, it is a desk drawer organizer. Five pieces five pieces for a dollar. You get the skinny like kind of pencil and pens one. You get the little ones for like paper clips and binder clips and like rubber bands or whatever. And then you get this big one right here. This is amazing for a dollar. They did have four colors. They had this really pretty orange color. They had pink, green, and blue, which are kind of like their school supply colors this year. I think I have some things in those colors to show you guys, but um, oh my gosh, if you're like an organization person or like messy drawers drive you nuts, especially if you have a drunk drawer in your house, please go, like I'm, I'm asking, why am I asking you like that? Please go pick this up just so I know you have it. But no, I want you to go get this because if you guys have been to Dollar Tree, normally it's like a two pack. Like you get like this skinny one and like another one stacked in it too for a dollar. So five for a dollar, that's a steal. Oh my gosh. And they're really nice. They're not like flimsy plastic. I, I, I'm going on and on because this astounded me. I picked up two. I almost picked up like eight. I don't even need that many. Okay, next is really cool. It's also by Jot, which is a brand I'm really falling in love with at Dollar Tree, but it's a marker case. So I got this for the girls. I'm on the hunt now for skinny markers because we don't have any, but, and that's all that fits in here, but it's like a little carrying case. I thought this was so great for on the go. I'm going to unclip it again. This, I will say, is a little bit flimsier plastic. I can see this falling apart, but I'm going to give it a try. Um, but the little markers just go in there. They like, I'm hoping they kind of click in and then you close it up and you can travel with markers. I thought that was so nifty. So picked up that. Hey guys, I just wanted to show you this product because I'm not very happy with it. Um, the markers do not click in. They just kind of like sit. They like rest on top of it. And that's not the worst part. This is the worst part. The entire middle section is useless for um, colored pencils and Crayola markers. I don't know if Dollar Tree maybe sells their own brand of marker from Jot that fits in this case. But if you use Crayola or, you know, any normal skinny marker, they don't fit. And the worst part about everything that I just said is that then if you carry the case around, they don't even stay put. Like they don't stay in place. So this is no more efficient than just getting a pencil bag. So I would not recommend. I also picked myself up a compass. 
I have found on two separate projects now, don't even remember what they are, but I've needed to draw a perfect circle and I'm having to find things in my house to trace. I'm also very curious if this will work with Mickey ears. Like instead of having to print out the templates, if you can use a compass. But yeah, I picked up myself a little compass. We'll see how it works. It also comes with um, a protractor. So two for one. If you're looking for school supplies, I mean, Dollar Tree's good. <laughs> Um, I also took the tags off this already because I wanted to try it on and nude slash. I don't love how it looks, but I got it anyway. <laughs> I tried it on after I bought it. Anyway, it's just a little headband. I did, my hair is literally in this. I tried it on one time. Anyway, it's this really pretty, <laughs> it's this really pretty sage green color. I think the buttons on it are kind of stupid. That's really mean. I'm sorry if you like the buttons. I don't like the buttons on it. Um, I think they're a weird addition, so I'm gonna I'm gonna seam rip them off. But it's really soft. It's like a faux velvet, but it also has like that corduroy kind of texture to it. Um, I'm not gonna put it on right now, but like, well, I guess I am kind of. Okay, it's not that bad. I don't know why I was being so mean to myself. I probably didn't have makeup on when I tried it, and I was like, ew. <laughs> anyway, um, so. I got it mostly for like, you know, when you're washing your face and you need to push your hair back. That was the main reason I picked it up. I just thought it was cute. Um, they did have this in a couple other colors too. And they were all kind of muted. Like there was like a, like a denim blue and like a nice blush pink, really pretty colors. Okay. Next I picked up, um, this was recommended by a Dollar Tree channel that I love. Her name's Crafty Girl. I don't know if you guys follow her, but she lives in my area. So she's like the best to follow because we go to the same Dollar Trees. So when she's like, this is a Dollar Tree, I'm like, oh. No, it's like actually at Dollar Tree. Anyway, she recommended this um, shave cream. So it's not, it's not like the foam kind. It's more like a gel. And so I'm very curious to try this. Um, I hate getting razor burn on my legs. It is like the bane of my existence. So I'm kind of hoping that this helps. And I got the scent pomegranate raspberry. I also picked up these highlighters in pastel colors. Cause if you guys know me, you know, I love my pastels. Um, but I thought they were so pretty it and they're, du they're, they're dual sided. So they have a, what do they call it? They have a bullet tip on the bottom, which is a super fine point, And then they have a chisel tip on top. I thought that was a great deal for a dollar. And it comes with this really pretty orange, pink, yellow, and green. I just love how light they are. I hate when you go to highlight something and then it's so dark. It like, you can't read it anymore. What was the point in that? I'm continuing on with like I know I'm all over the place as far as like what's there, but I got um, a lip scrub or a lip, it's lip scrub. It's sugar, sugar lip scrub. Gently exfoliate your lips. I do need this right now so bad. <laughs> Summertime. Um, it's just LA colors. I don't know how well it's going to work, but I did want to give it a try. Um, and if you guys can see, I, I used my phone today so I could get like better angles on stuff. That's what it looks like inside. Um, continuing on with lip stuff. I don't know if this is all of them, but I picked up a bunch of lip colors because if you guys saw my Dollar Tree makeup review, I picked up this brand of liquid lip and I loved it. I will say it did not last as long as I was hoping it would. The way I, when I swatched it on my hand, it would not come off. I thought it was going to be like an all day lipstick. It lasted, I want to say like three to four hours before needing a reapply, but I still think that's really good for a dollar. Um, but they're all named after like women. So I think that that's really cool. This one is Jenna. It's like this real, hang on baby. It's like this really pretty brown. I love brown, brown based lipsticks. So we're going to try that one. Um, this one's kind of similar to what I have on right now. It's called Dakota. It's like a deep berry. And then this one is called Kira and it's a really light pink. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I don't know that I'm going to love this one, but if I don't, I'm going to give it to Kala. So <laughs> Anyway, okay, this is the last lip color that I grabbed and it's called Penny. I think this one's probably gonna be my favorite. Look at that shade right there, it's so pretty. And at this point, I think I might've actually found all of them. Um, I wanna keep track of the names though because I would hate to buy a repeat <laughs> unless I really liked it. Okay, next I picked up this super pretty scrunchie. It's a satin scrunchie. Um, I, I bought this for a DIY, but I'm really loving it. And I do, um, I have curly hair. So when I let my hair be natural, I do the pineapple thing where I sleep with like the ponytail on top of my head and satin scrunchies are the best for that. So I'm either going to keep it or you're going to see it in an upcoming DIY. Stay tuned. They're like beauty product. I picked up this foot mask. It says that it is, it's by uh, Spa April Bath and Shower, ultra moisturizing, nourishing, and softening. Oh, it says one pair. I thought that was a seven. I was like, for a dollar. 
anyway picked that up i can if you guys are following me on instagram i do tend to like use this stuff and then kind of like let you know in my stories what i thought so if you're curious be sure to be following me on instagram because i probably will let you guys know how this was continuing on with school supplies i picked up a two pack of wooden rulers this is also going to be a part of the same diy as that wooden frame so again stay tuned but this is the pink and the purple color where i was talking about with their summer kind of color line these are the wooden ones, by the way, and these plastic numberings there, those just peel right off. So what you essentially have is a wooden, a wooden slat to use for crafting. Okay, next I picked up four ribbons. Uh, three of them are like, or no, two of them are sparkle ribbons, like glitter. So one is like this gorgeous lavender purple with all this glitter in it, and then the other one is black with glitter. I feel like these are probably going to get used for gift wrap, um, but I do, I love them. I mean, I think they'd be beautiful for crafting, especially that purple one. It's gorgeous. And for Halloween, I do know, I'm almost positive they had an orange one too. I feel like they're putting these out because Halloween's coming up. And then the other one I picked up is this really pretty cream colored lace one. I just thought this would be nice to have on hand. And again, for a dollar, which by the way, this lace one is nine feet and then the glitter ones are five feet. And then the last one I picked up is a black satin ribbon. I used up almost all of mine making some ears the other day. So I I picked some more up. Um, I love the ribbon at Dollar Tree. If you guys like it, I would suggest getting it because you don't know if it's always going to be there. Um, the satin ribbons are usually always around, but if it's like a unique one, I would suggest grabbing it. <laughs> Okay, next I picked up some hair ties for Daylin and Calla, mostly for Daylin. Calla can use the bigger ones, but Daylin still needs these little soft ones. Um, but these are okay. Um, I've seen better ones at Dollar Tree. These aren't my favorite, but they were the only ones that they had. So that's what I grabbed. And then I also picked myself up some hair claws. I did get a hair claw the other day. Oh, I'm showing it in this video. I have another one. I did not like it. It's like weirdly shaped and I have a hard time getting my hair to fit in it. So I picked up these instead. I thought they were so pretty. This one's like a marble and then this one's like a matte black and it's got like the smoothest finish on it. I can't even explain it. They did have a three pack as well, but these felt a lot nicer. So I got this one instead because I'd rather have two really nice ones than three like meh ones. And then this was kind of weird. I've seen shirts at Dollar Tree before, but not of this quality. So this is an Anvil shirt, which is actually a pretty good brand. Um, and it's a pocket tee. I picked up a medium in white and I grabbed it because it's a really soft shirt. I was, I was very blown away by this. I will say they had a whole like section of shirts when I went at, to this particular Dollar Tree, but they were pretty much all extra smalls, smalls, and then mediums. And then there was like some red ones that were double XL. So no larges in any color or any style. Some of the shirts felt awful. They felt like cardboard, but this one was so soft that I decided to pick it up. Plus pocket tees are very hard to find for a good price, I feel. I also got their new princess sticker book. This is a new one. So there's one that they've just kept remaking and reselling. And I, I bought it, I think two or three times because the girls love it, but this is a new one. And it is so pretty and it has Pocahontas in it. And Moana, they never have Pocahontas and Moana. So I was super excited about that. Oh my God, look how pretty. Okay, this is like, the, I picked the worst one to show because it's shiny. Let me find the not shiny one. This one's glittery, but at least I'll be able to show it. There's Mo look at Moana. There's really not a lot of Pocahontas. Yeah, you can look at it in a second, baby. But there is a couple ones of, of Pocahontas too. And Mulan, just some of like the lesser seen ones. Which I really love. Oh, even Merida's in there. You wanna look? Um, oh, I was really excited to find these. These are for sure for the villain swap. They're like black velvet curly bows, and then they have a gold inside. I thought that was so pretty and perfect for the villain swap. You do get two on each one, and I picked up two, so I've got four total, but they're so pretty. What's up? I love the first page sticker. Uh-huh. Sorry, my foot's asleep. <gasps> okay. Only a couple more things. We're almost, done. We're almost to the next set of haul. Okay, um, I did pick up more Play-Doh for the girls because... Theirs is drying out, so I picked up pink and green and purple and like a reddish color. Um, or I guess it's like orange, I don't know, cool. <laughs> Coral, why am I so obsessed with getting the color red on this? Anyway, Play-Doh, Play-Doh brand. I don't like the fake stuff that's like Dollar Tree Play-Doh. I don't like it, it dries out, it's hard for them to use, but this is like the good stuff, so I always grab it when I see it if, if they're needing new ones. 
Okay, and the final item I picked up, which is not exciting, I don't know why I saved it for last, I guess I just wasn't paying attention, is this. It's really pretty, it's like holographic yellow, kind of like to red, um, but it's a zipper pouch for your headphones. Um, I still do have my headphones that have like a normal headphone jack because that's what I use to record my voiceovers. I plug it into my MacBook and that's got a little microphone on it. So that's what I use. But anyway, th my headphones have been getting tangled horribly lately. So this one has a little zipper pocket or a little, not zipper, it's got a little pocket inside and then it's also got this plain side. So you could actually store more than one pair or more than one cord in here, which I really liked. Ooh, Dylan's making it. And I have eyed this like three or four times and I told myself that if my headphones got tangled again before I went to Dollar Tree that I would pick it up next time I went. And guess what happened? <laughs> okay, um, actually there's one more item but it doesn't even look good because Dalen opened it already. So Dalen loves dice. When we play like family board games and then we like give Dalen like Play-Doh to do or something like that, she doesn't want that. She just wants to take the dice from whatever game we're playing. So I picked up more dice and then Dalen of course wanted to take the dice out, but it's fine. You get a lot though for a dollar. You get 10, 10 dies for a dollar. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Um, let me know below. What was your favorite thing? What are you going to run out and grab? Have you seen anything super awesome at your Dollar Trees that I need to be on the lookout for? Because Lord knows I love to be on the lookout at Dollar Tree. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Bye.